was there like a different level of insanity of sickness of feeling when you are in a relationship like say with Anthony who is in active alcoholism it's kind of like merging the codependency and the love addiction versus other relationships where it might have just been kind of more pure love addiction every single person I was with had some form long-term had yeah. some form of a dysfunction. Otherwise I wouldn't have been yeah. attracted to them. But now that you're asking me this, the two like main, I guess you could call them relationships I had with addicts. I got more hooked in by the um, highs and lows. Mm. So the abandonment cycle, right? Like the hope and the exhilaration and the possibility and the future tripping. Cause like they didn't drink for two weeks and then they're being amazing and look at the potential and, uh, and then the absolute crushing devastation when I would like come home or I'd be on the phone with them and I could just tell that they mm -hmm. used and the insanity of that, but the chemical reaction of that absolutely that hooked me in more it mimicked even though my mom was not a substance addict it mimicked my mom because she would have these moments which obviously I know they're contrived now I didn't know before right she was trying to hook me back in with narc hooks but I thought they were like oh my mom would say let's go swimming like little Tiffy would be like Oh, and the way her tone of voice, you know, it was like, oh, mom's being like normal. And then maybe the next day she was still being mm. nice. And then I'd get a little bit of hope like, oh, it's not so bad. And like, maybe my nervous system relaxed and then wham, I'd be side whacked with shock. And then even after that pattern happened and I was like a teenager and I knew the pattern and even though I wasn't sh shocked when she would do something crazy, even though I'd go, well, of course that was coming. My nervous system still was reacting. So I feel like the, I was also addicted to that cycle because man, there was nothing that felt better to me other than a freshy high, but there was nothing that felt better to me when it felt like you're like back in the in the good graces or back in the zone or whatever the fuck we want to call it. It was like my inner child, my inner teenager and me and Tiffany could all like exhale. And that's like a fucking shot of heroin. I've not done heroin. I at least didn't touch that. But like, I imagine from what people have said, that's what that feels like. Mm -hmm. And wow did I do the other part of the dance just to get back to the heroin, which are the crumbs? Yeah. So that's what I wanted to ask too, was that when you were in those relationships, like with people hooked in people in active addiction, alcoholism, were you more accepting of crumbs in those relationships? Did you endure more abuse or mistreatment in those relationships compared to other ones? Absolutely. A hundred percent. Yeah. And I didn't vocalize as much. So with other relationships where maybe the addiction, was, they were more like, maybe they were unrealized ACAs or they were also codependents, you know, mm -hmm. I would have much firmer boundaries. I would call the behavior out. I would be able to say, Hey, I'm not talking to you and genuinely not talk to them. Even if it took like a week, I could do it, but not with the active addicts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I think they resemble your mother more. And I think that same, that same in same in friendships too. Mm -hmm. Friendships where, you know, female friendships or even male, you know, male friendships where the person was an active addict, even though at the time I may not have been aware they were an addict because I didn't necessarily know what to look for if people were more like functioning or whatever. But like looking back, same fucking thing. Mm 